Hey guys, what's up? Fishing with Farron here. Today I'm going to show you how to install a fire pole micro anchor on an Old Town Predator PDL. Okay, before we get started, there's a few issues that my kayak has that we'll have to address before we can install the power pole. Issue number one is the rudder. In that hole, the, power, the pole for the power pole has got to go through that hole. Which brings us to the next issue. I have my transducer transom mounted. And I don't want a transducer arm hanging off the side and the transducer uh, pot on this kayak is too small for my transducer but leave it hanging down below the kayak and I don't want that so I've got an idea um, we'll go over it in the video and see if it works the next issue is there is no rear access so we're gonna have to take this hatch and cut out an eight uh, take the kayak cut an eight inch hole and install a hatch to give us rear access to add the bolts in for the power pole uh, mount. Okay, as I mentioned, one of the issues was the transducer I had transom mounted back here uh, is right under the, the hole in the back where the pole is gonna go through. So what I've come up with is I'm going to offset the transducer to the side of the mount and so what that's going to do is going to move it over enough where my pole will clear and I can still run my transducer on the transom and not have an arm hanging down or have the transducer hanging down uh, below the bottom of my boat. Okay, so I got the transducer moved over and what I've done is uh, I removed it from the mount here, moved it out to the side, uh, got a longer bolt. Uh, I added a nylon spacer in between the transducer because that's plastic and uh, you don't want to break those ears off so just uh, I put a spacer in there so it only tightened down so far and as you can see down the hole uh, the pole will just clear now so on to the next step okay so I've got the transducer mount moved over so the pole will clear so the next thing we've got to do is cut out an access point here where we can gain access to the inside of the boat to fasten the power pole mount to the kayak. So we'll need inside access to get to those bolts. So Old Town already has uh, a recessed place here for a six inch round hatch. So we have to cut that out and add the hatch. So the first thing you want to do is you want to trace this so you'll know what lines to follow to add it. Uh, this is very difficult to trace because you need to trace the inside edge and you can't get under. So what I found is that the outside lip of the lid to the hatch is the same size as the inside diameter of the hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this lid and we're going to center it the best we can in this hole and we're going to take our sharpie and we're going to trace all the way around this thing hold it secure and don't let it move or you're going to have an oblong hole which won't fit your hatch very well so we've got that traced so then once you need to have that go ahead and stick the hatch up there and just check and see if what you traced will fit this and it looks good so uh, now we're gonna cut that out it's the fun part cut a six inch hole in your kayak so what i did is i took my uni bit and i drilled a couple of holes enough to get the saw blade started in so now what i'm gonna do is just start cutting around this circle Okay, so I've put the power pole in the bracket and to determine where 
I need to place it. I'm going to eyeball the hole where the stake goes through into the hole in the back of the kayak, and I want to center that the best I can. So I'm going to. That's how I'm going to know where to put this bracket, front to rear, side to side. So once I've got it eyeballed in place where I want to put it, I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm going to mark it there on the kayak so I'll know where the bracket goes and I can go ahead and take the power pole off the bracket and mount the bracket and get that part done. Okay, so I've got the bracket uh, in place where I want to put it. I've removed the power pole. Uh, I found the appropriate size drill bit for the supplied hardware that comes with it. Uh, I believe this is a 5 16 bit. So I'm going to hold the mount in place and I'm going to drill this first hole. You got that first hole drilled. What I like to do is go ahead and take the bolt, put it through the mount, and through the hole, and what that's going to do is hold it in place so you can get the other holes square. Okay, so I got my holes drilled, uh, got all the bolts in place. Um, with the inside access we do, we're going to take these big uh, flat washers and you're going to put one of those on each bolt and the supplied uh, lock nut. And to so just snug those down. Okay, so we've got the mount bolted down. Uh, I wanted to bring you around here and show you something. So there's this raised portion back here where the rudder sits and the back of the mount had to hang off the back of there. So what I've done is I picked up some nylon washers. Uh, just got them out of the, uh, the bolt bin at, at Lowe's and uh, just spaced that up to where it sits even. Uh, it's a good solid mount now. Shouldn't have any issues. So at this point, if you were going to use an external battery, you would um, have to run your wiring uh, that comes with a supplied wiring harness and you would decide if you wanted to uh, run it to your normal battery that you have on your fish finder, your lights, whatever, or you can run a separate battery. Uh, I'm going to run the uh, optional uh, battery pack that comes with this. Unfortunately, it is not here yet, so I'm waiting a couple days, but it's real simple. Just plugs in there and you're good to go. Uh, so now all I got to do is take this outside and test the, the pole because uh, it's eight and a half foot. My seal is only eight foot, so I can't test it in here. Hey guys, sorry about the noise. Had to come outside to try the power pole because it's too tall to use inside. Uh, my shop's right here beside the highway. But uh, I hooked it up to my fish finder battery. Uh, just So there it is all installed. Uh, it is a tight fit, but it does clear. Uh, if I find it when anchored, this pole gets too close, I'll just space the uh, transducer out just a little bit more, but uh, really nice clean install. Uh, worked out great. If you uh, wanna look at putting a power pole on an Old Town Predator PDL, it's not that bad, and definitely it's probably gonna be worthwhile. I appreciate you guys watching Fishing with Farron. Have a great day.